What is up? I'm Moana Turtle, and today we're doing a Yu-Gi-Oh! video. We are starting another box of Battles of Legend Heroes Revenge, uh, but we also have a quick mail day, and so we have a couple cards. I'm just going to cover up my address. Uh, from Borderline TCG, picked this up off TCG Player, and... Um, Actually, before we get to the Borderline purchase, uh, I mentioned before that I picked up a good number of Skyscraker Engage engages, and they did come in the mail. So I picked up 11 copies, So and I did pull one as well. So that brings our total up to 12 copies, and uh, since I purchased them, they're essentially pre-orders. The price has gone up a little bit, uh, so this spec is starting to work out. We'll see. Um, hoping for more significant movement before I would consider kind of like offloading them and then our other purchase from Borderline TCG this time is actually a pretty cool seller they included a dra, dra connection I'm not familiar with this card but uh, does look pretty good and actually no that does look quite nice but the card we did pick up is the so I'm starting to slowly expand my ultimate rare collection and I wasn't able to get them out just because they put a lot of tape. Um, I feel like this is an excessive amount of tape, but when it's for like protecting the card, it's all good. So we've got two copies of Ancient Gear Golem Ultimate Rare. Starting to slowly expand my collection to Ultimate Rares uh, and Ghosts as well, though I haven't picked up any Ghosts yet. And uh, so it's a quick mail day, and there's actually more awesome Yu-Gi-Oh cards coming in the mail from Troll and Toad. So stay tuned. Probably when I do this, the rest of this box will be when that rest of that order comes in. So let's get into this third. This is box number three of Battles of Legend Heroes Revenge. Big fan of this set so far. Been enjoying opening it, especially for these uh, you know five card per pack sets. Sometimes there, or I think I just had a very bad. Uh, experience with uh, infinity chasers that's that's the name i was searching for that name yeah i really didn't enjoy that set so it's been a while since you know this one is much better having a much better time opening it and let's get into our first pack so the one the card i'm looking for the most right now that i would like to pull would be that black luster soldier all right let's see what we get uh we got the battle boss to start ballista of the armageddon Will of the Solomon Great, Battle Boss Sting the Poison, our first Fortune Fair we got Chi, and then Fortune Fairy Hikari for our first pull. Still don't know much about these Fortune Fairies, if you're familiar with the archetype let me know, is it any good? Is it, uh, I believe it's new so maybe it's just starting out yet to have enough support to make it really viable. So I wonder if it's still kind of laying down the groundwork. Or something that could be viable in the future. Subterra Guru, pretty good pull. It's cool, it's an ultra rare version of it. And then a Stardust Mirage for our secrets. Hoping for at least one good pull. Let's see, there's still the Al Mirage, the Borosaur Dragon, which is the most expensive card, I still, I believe. Asuza the Ghost Bow. Battle Wasps. Can't say I'm a big fan of these battle wasps. Black dra dragon collapse serpent, and then a vision fusion for those vision heroes. Okay, on to our next pack. As always, if you guys do want to support this channel, you can simply do so by hitting that like button down below. We got unacceptable results. Dangerous destiny hero, dangerous. A Fortune Fairy Swee. Oh boy, there we go. Our second Boral Sword Dragon. We are getting super lucky. I've, I've uh, watched a bunch of openings and um, I feel like a lot of people have are not have not been as fortunate to pull this card to a point where some people have said like, you know, they open in a, a whole case and still haven't found a Boral Sword Dragon. So people are getting very frustrated. So we are getting either that's super unlucky or we are getting super fortunate to have two out of three boxes super happy with that we pulled the the most expensive card in the set as of right now so this is turning out to be quite an opening we got a minimum ray these vision heroes they look really boring we have a symbol of friendship that's super Ooh, not a not a like big money card but a very classic um yugi card five headed dragon 
So we did get the <laughs> the big chase card. So this is a very successful opening. Do me a favor, hit that like button down below. Yeah, you know, I I think I was so up for like the um, Black Luster Soldier. I feel like I'm not giving how great of a pull we just had <laughs> in getting that. Ooh, Vision Hero Vion, not bad. Uh, in getting that Boral Sword. I believe that thing's going for like 30 something right now. And so like these boxes only cost like I, I think if you're if you pre-ordered it maybe you could get it for about 60 maybe less. All right, we have White Dragon Wyvern Buster, Abs Elemental Hero Absolute Zero, Solomon Great Sanctuary, Vision Hero Poisoner, and oh yes! Wait a minute, we we definitely pulled like this exact our box number one was essentially the same thing. We got Sky Striker, Engage, and Boral Sword Dragon. Go back to our first opening. I am oh, like almost 100% certain this is like the same exact box, which is very interesting. <laughs> what are the chances you get like all the same money pulls? We have a Gingerbread House, Shadal Hedgehog, Battle Wasp, Battle Dragon, Black Dragon, Collapse Serpent, and then a TG Gear Zombie. Don't know much about the TG uh, archetypes. I believe there was a couple of them in um, Savage Strike, which we opened a ton of packs for. All right, this uh, this this opening is super awesome. We got a Herald of the Arc Light, Predoblast, Sonic Stun. Gimmick Puppet Chimera Doll, and then a Harpy Conductor. Harpy Conductor. Is Harpy supposed to be like part of like the train archetype or something? We still got three packs, and I'm like, I feel like that could be it for the box, and that wouldn't be terrible <laughs> if we got nothing else. Fortune Fairy Anne, a Vision Hero Witch Raider, Shadal Sumata. Summoning Swarm, and then an Interrupted Kaiju Slumber. Two packs left. So we did uh, manage to, as far as our spec for these Sky Striker Mobilize Engages, we have upped our count to 13 at this point. So really hoping the price continues to go. Ooh, Trap Tricks there, another pretty good hit, hit right there. But I think uh, I checked today, and I think they're around $16. Alright, on to our last pack. We already got insane pulls, but can we get another one? Let's see, we got a Battle Wasp Ballista, the Armageddon. Number 26, Space, Spaceway Octopass, Octo Bypass. Destiny Hero Dangerous again. Pin the Bullseye, and Elemental Hero Neos Knights. This might be the first time I've seen this. Neos Knights, let's see. Elemental Hero Neos plus a Warrior. Must be fusion summoned gain attack equal to the original attack of the Warrior. Can make a second attack during each battle phase. Huh, that's interesting. Sounds like a pretty cool card. Alright, so, monster opening. <laughs> we pulled the big chase card, as well as definitely my one of my favorite cards in this set, Sky Striker Mobilize Engage. I have high hopes for that card and how it will perform in the future. Uh, so, if you did enjoy this video, definitely hit that like button down below. And uh, yeah, let me know what you think of this set uh, in this opening, man, gosh. Or the, the ultimate rares. Uh, if you have a collection of ultimate rares that you are working on as well, let me know how it's going and what cards you already have and what you're looking to pick up in the near future. Uh, very interested in what people's thoughts are about uh, what what are the good cards to get as far as that ultimate rare goes. Um, so that's it for this opening, guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. I'm Wanda Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.